Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Head Chef Mom. I'm Kendall Lawrence, and I am so happy that you're here again with me today. And today I'm out in Florissant, Colorado at the Tisserie Lodge with my friends, Tony and Don Moore. Uh, they're also the owners of this beautiful property. And we are going to have dinner tonight, which I am going to prepare. And I am going to prepare some of the local flavors um, in the area. So I am going to be making some Rocky Mountain Elk and some Pueblo peppers. And um, I'm sure that, you know, this is going to be a taste treat delight. So let's go on into the kitchen, meet Tony and Don, and take a look at our ingredients. Okay, so here we are in one of the beautiful kitchens on the property of the Tisserie Lodge where I'm going to be preparing dinner tonight for Tony and Don and myself. And tonight I'm going to be preparing the um, elk with the Pueblo peppers. But before I show you the ingredients, I want Tony to tell you a little bit about this beautiful property. Thank you so much and welcome to Tisserie Lodge wedding and event venue. Welcome to Colorado. We sleep 42 right here on site on 50 private acres with three hot tubs and three and a half miles of hiking trails. It's a great place to get away with your friends and family. And we attract the best people because people come to Tisri because they enjoy great fellowship with their friends, great food, and great times to just relax and build memories. Kendall, yeah. tell us a little bit about these incredible ingredients. Okay, great. Okay, so here are the ingredients for our Rocky Mountain elk and our Pueblo peppers. So I have some, some sweet onions, some Badalia onions here. I have about a quarter cup of cornstarch. I have a half a teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of white sugar. I, the recipe calls for six tablespoons of soy sauce, but I was actually talking with Tony and she doesn't really like soy sauce. She often substitutes with Worcestershire sauce and I got to thinking about it and I thought that that would be a pretty good idea since we got a lot of spice with the uh, Pueblo peppers. So I thought the Worcestershire sauce might balance that out. So I'm gonna try it with that and let you know. But I'm gonna put all of the ingredients in the description box and I'll include the recipe with the soy sauce. Back here, I have a quarter cup of white wine vinegar and I have some um, elk. Well, I'm going to use some rice. We're going to uh, have it with some rice. I'm using jasmine rice in this case, but use whatever kind of rice you, ha you want. And then I have about a pound of elk that Don got for me or for us. And um, I marinated overnight with some milk. I just used enough milk to cover it and I used some fresh sage off the property, some salt and some pepper and uh, a little bit of dried rosemary. And I had this in the refrigerator for about 12 hours, but anywhere from two to 24 hours will work. Don, can you tell us a little bit about the peppers and uh, the elk? Because it looks like, did you prepare these peppers? Uh, they were roasted peppers that we got down at Pueblo at harvest time last September and we just uh, immediately froze them so the flavor would seal in. Of course, before we use them, we'll take the roasted skin off and we'll shred them up a little bit. So yeah, they were freshly off the farm and roasted right when we picked them and frozen right from there, so. Awesome, awesome. And tell us a little bit about the, um, the elk, the Rocky Mountain elk. Uh, I guess, first of all, uh, when our clients here at the Tisbury Wedding and Event Venue selected to Kendall to come out and be their chef for the weekend for them, uh, we had started having conversations with regards to what type of food should the guests have because the guests are coming from uh, many different uh, locales. And so we thought, well, one of the meals should be uh, the taste of the Rocky Mountain elk. The Rocky Mountain elk are a subspecies of the master class elk. And the Rocky Mountain elk reside from anywhere, if you know, from the Canadian Rockies down in through New Mexico. And in fact, this elk here that we're talking about was shot right here in the Florissant area. And for those of you that uh, want to know how it was shot, it was shot with a bow. Uh, the elk itself uh, can grow to five to seven hundred pounds in the bull elk, that's what this one was, and uh, they graze on a lot of the forest vegetation and they come out into the pasture lands when the, the springtime comes. So uh, this elk uh, taken last fall uh, right here in the uh, Florissant area and because of its, I guess it's wild of course, and so we made sure that it was brined and we made sure we cleaned it and when you cook it, you want to make sure you cook it and get it to where it's just a little pink in the center. You don't want to cook it all the way through. And you want to make sure that when you're eating it, you're eating it in small bites because it does take some time to, you know, chew it a little bit. So you don't want to put a big hunk of steak right, in your mouth. Right, yep. Yeah. So, uh, and the, 
uh, you know, the Pueblo peppers mixed with the elk, we, we find that to be a highly, highly Colorado flavor. Mm -hmm. I know uh, Kendall is for a few other meals for the guests she's preparing. I think we're going to do some bison and maybe some trout, Rocky Mountain trout. So uh, uh, that's the food you see in front of you here. Wow. Thank you, Don. And as he said, you want to have this in small bites. So I am going to cut this up down to smaller bite-sized pieces. And I, I let you know that I have uh, soaked this overnight in milk. And that's because the... Um, the uh, elk doesn't have very much fat and so the enzymes in the milk will help tenderize it and then of course I added you know my own um, um, ingredients to taste the salt the pepper the uh, sage from off the property and the dried rosemary and that's really up to you but I think the milk is really important here in this application but I'll include the um, spices that I used in the marinade um, in the description box so let's go ahead and get over to the stove Okay, so I have a bowl here, and in that bowl, I'm going to include my cornstarch, my white wine vinegar, my sugar and my pepper, and my Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce if that's what you prefer, and I'm just going to give it a stir. Okay. So I poured half of that cornstarch marinade into a Ziploc bag and I added my elk meat, which I cut up into bite-sized pieces and I let it sit and get to room temperature because you want to cook this on really high heat and if you um, have it at, if it's cold, then you're gonna lower the temperature of your pan and you want this to be a really quick cook, so remember that. So I have coated this and I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then we're gonna get over to the stove. So I've got my pan up on high heat. I put my onions in the pan first because I want them to cook longest. So they've been sauteing around for about 30 seconds. I don't want them to get very soft. And now I'm going to add my elk meat. And I'm going to saute this around for one to two minutes. You don't want to overcook it. Well, I'm going to saute it for about a minute first, and then I'll add my peppers. Let's say that. So I sauteed my onions about 30 seconds, added my elk meat. I'm going to give this about a minute to saute on high, and then we'll add the peppers. And I'm adding the peppers last because they were roasted, so they're already cooked and they're already kind of softened up. Okay, so my elk meat has been going now for... A little less than a minute. We want this to be on the rarer side. So I'm going to add my Pueblo peppers now, the roasted Pueblo, Pueblo peppers. And I removed a lot of the seeds to reduce some of the heat because these are pretty hot. And I saved half of my, um, my marinade and I'm going to pour this in. And all I did was cut off the heads of my um, Pueblo peppers and sliced them in half and I removed a lot of the seeds not all of them because I still want to have some kick and I'm going to go about one minute okay so our Rocky Mountain elk with Pueblo peppers is all done and it looks absolutely fantastic it looks so delicious doesn't it so now Tony Don and I are going to go ahead and give it a taste Okay guys, we're getting ready to taste this uh, Rocky Mountain elk with Pueblo peppers. Okay, let's get ready to dig in guys. Thank Absolutely. You. Okay. Get a little bit of pepper and a little bit of onion. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Onions are crunchy and perfect. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Ooh, that chili. Pepper. Ooh. <laughs> the chili definitely has some kick. But it's offset by the Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of sugar. And I took your suggestion and used Worcestershire sauce. But next time I think I might use some soy and a little bit of sesame oil. I think that's a great idea. That, that little extra oil will help with this lean, lean meat. Mm -hmm. And it's not fall apart tender because it is very lean. But it's not tough either. It's, it's pretty good, especially with the jasmine rice. Love okay. it. Mm. So... Guys, I do appreciate you being here with me today, and I am going to put a link to the Tisri Lodge 
in the description box below. Come on out and see us. Absolutely. Yes. It's a wonderful place if you're looking to have a family reunion or a wedding. So make sure you click on that link and go and visit their website. And guys, you know I love you. I'm so happy that you're here. Uh, go feed your family. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya.